It is, uh, what have we decided to call this? Okay, for the written word, we're going to call it Caleb's Call. But for the show, it's Hooker Picks. Who doesn't love Hooker Picks? I love Hooker Picks. Sometimes it's hard to pick one out uh, from the crowd, but (laughs) those are the good ones, I've been told. So Hooker Picks are now, we're going to have picks each and every week, and it's going to be brought to you by Zen Sports. And my guy, Caleb, is a winner. So you want to tune into this, go ahead and get your you Zen get Sports. winning, guys. That's right. Get your Zen Sports app. And the cool part about Zen Sports is you get cash back when uh, other people that you recommend bet. So it's uh, pretty cool. But let's start with Vanderbilt, the 17 well, and a the half. Form, the format, I'm going to give to everybody real quick. Okay. Every week, I'm going to bet on the over under and the spread for every sec game and every game featuring every game featuring an sec team and every game featuring two top 25 teams. And then I might add a couple of games. If I just, if I love the spread and I'll tell you like, that's my bet of the week. So that's how we're going to do this. Travis says hooker picks are proof. Barnum. It's absolutely right. If a hooker's involved other than me or Hendon, you don't want to be taking pictures. You don't want any recording devices around. Do you remember the I'm Notre cold. before we get go? Do you remember because we're going to talk about Notre Dame funny enough? Do you remember the Notre Dame scandal where like three players it was a Charlie Weiss here all got arrested one night for like picking up a hooker or picking up hookers or prostitutes? And I thought you could have any girls. Why are you picking up prostitutes? And then I remember one of them in an interview later was like, "Guys, we weren't paying for the sex. We were paying because we knew they weren't going to call us back." <laughs> Well, yeah, and the old saying is you're not paying a hooker to do what hookers do. You're paying a hooker to leave. Um, yes. <laughs> right. Anyway, so, and by the way, if, if anybody ever needed a number for an escort, it's probably Charlie Weiss. So I can imagine where they got that number. Because <laughs> you talk about the most unattractive man that I've ever seen. That's, that's probably the guy. All right. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> That guy from top to bottom ain't good looking. All right, so uh, what do we got? Who are our picks for this week? All right, so the only SEC game that uh, which I am legally obligated to bet on SEC games based on our show um, is Vanderbilt and Hawaii. Now, the spread is 17 and a half points. Over under is 56. Dave, I don't know if you want to hang hour. That's crazy, This one, these, but uh, I can I'll do that. With- um, so is this whether or not I agree? Whether or not you agree. So I'll start with the spread. I think Vanderbilt covers 17 and a half. Hey now. I got you. I'm with that. Yes. And for those who question, Vanderbilt beat Hawaii 63 to 10 on the road last year. It's at home this year. Vanderbilt returns everybody on offense. I think they're going to blow them out again. The over under, I'm going over 56. That's crazy. No, Vanderbilt's going to slow this thing down. They scored 63 alone on Hawaii last year. Okay, maybe not. Go ahead. <laughs> and and well, Hawaii returns – Hawaii themselves return everybody on offense, while Vanderbilt does lose some talent on defense. So I think Vanderbilt's going to give up more points than they gave up last year, but they're still going to score at will. I'm looking at a 45-20 to 20 type game for that. For All Vanderbilt. Right. All right. All right. So that's the only one I have to make. Now, here are some other college football bets to make. I love – it's a high spread. I still love USC 30.5 versus San Jose State. I think they cover that. I think you want to come out of the shoot and look really good. And if Tennessee had a lower-level opponent, Virginia is not great, but I think that Josh Heupel would want to set that tone for recruiting. And I think that Southern California will keep those starters in just a little bit longer. So I'll give you a big – Hey, now. Yes, I agree with that. They'll score 60 points in this game. Yeah, I'm with you on that too. All right, bet of the week, guys. Bet of the week. I'm all in on this. I am all in. Navy plus 20.5 Notre Dame. Notre Dame does not cover that 20.5 spread against Navy. Doesn't happen. You're absolutely right. Uh, Marcus Freeman was a terrible hire as a coach. I'm sticking by that. This is year number two for him. He's a player's coach. It's going to start to slide downhill and he's a players coach and i heard him on the dan patrick show uh, and he was asked do you know dan patrick asked him just flippantly he said do you know the names of all your players and he said of course i do so he goes okay who's number 53 and he goes oh 53 and he paused okay and he goes 
that's Murph. And he and Dan Patrick goes, what's his full name? He goes, oh, we just call him Murph. He could not remember his name, Caleb. And ah, just, and he bragged about how he still benches 315 or 330 perhaps. Listen, I go to the gym. You don't hear me bragging about what I'm benching because I'm old enough and uh, secure enough in my manhood that I know that that's not the best thing for your joints once you get past the age of 25. <laughs> so he's still trying to hit it with the young guys. He's trying to be cool. It's going to be a disaster. Don't be surprised if Navy, Navy upsets Notre Dame. I wouldn't be surprised either. Last What's year, your money line on that? Because that's that may be my first bet on Zen Sports. Download the app, guys. Do me a favor. Use the promo code Hooked. Okay, Notre Dame Navy. Okay, it's a uh, it's Navy plus eight fifty or it's plus eight fifty one. So you bet a hundred, you would win eight hundred and fifty one bucks. That's a that's a hell of a money line. Like yeah. <laughs> that's a ridiculous money line. Who in the world? Oh my gosh. Now Notre Dame, it's minus 1549. So oh my gosh. That that is a payout, man. Um I would say I, I want to add a few just things. It's excited. It's like we put cocaine on the table in front of Michael Irvin or something. Deacon <laughs> <laughs> over this. All right. So I well let's let's throw this out here real quick. A few things. Um Navy runs the triple option. So they're gonna slow the game down, making it harder for Notre Dame to win by more than 20. Um yes. Notre Dame only beat them by three last year. Notre Dame has a new quarterback. You're right. They got Marcus Freeman as head coach. And their new offensive coordinator got demoted from his last job at West Virginia as offensive coordinator. So I don't know why he, Marcus Freeman decided to hire him to replace Tommy Reese. And the game's in Ireland. And Navy returns everybody. And so it's – I'm so all in. Navy covers that 20.5 spread. One last over under, Dave, before we go. I want to know – I want to set it. Ready? Yes, guys, we're not political at all. We are not. We, I don't care. I don't care what happened or what you think about last night's arrest. But if you think Donald Trump is 6'3", 215 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said he was 6'3", 215 pounds. Um, What's that? How far off is he? How far off is he? Oh, I think, he's two, I think he's 260 easy. I was going to go 240, but so somewhere in between there. But yeah, not so 215, was, though. Yeah. If we put the, oh, he's over 240, man. You think he's can, over 240? I can see his <laughs> face. And I've seen a couple of golf shots. Again, not a political statement, but own it. I've just yeah. got, what if he just went in there and said, I'm 6'3, 315? <laughs> you know why? Because I'm huge. He's Caleb Calhoun. I'm Dave Hooker. I have a fantastic day, everyone. Yes, he's the same size as Derek Henry. <laughs> the message board says he's not.